So uh, we just saw uh, the world premiere of Hatchet 2. This is the uh, first movie of Fright Fest. This is the uh, Adam Green directed uh, sequel uh, for the film that was also directed by Adam Green. Uh, George, you hadn't seen the original. What did no, you I think? Haven't, um, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, funny, I mean, some really great one-liners, some really great little sort of comedy moments. Gory, blood everywhere at some point. Then yeah, I mean, first first film for Fry Fest. I thought it was a it was a good choice to be honest. Um, the guy Adam Green seems like a really nice fella. Of what what I saw from him from the Q and A and everything like that. And um, good choice, good choice. Yeah. Nice. No. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I I wasn't a big fan of uh, the first Hatchet. Um, I was a big fan of Frozen. I think Frozen, like Adam Green just said that he thinks Frozen is his best film. I absolutely agree. Like I've seen Hatchet and I've seen Hatchet 2 and I've seen Frozen. Frozen's in a different category. It's, it's, it's a way better film. Um, the first Hatchet movie I didn't enjoy too much. This, this one that I just saw there is perfect for the opening of Fright Fest. It's got everything that this crowd wants. Uh, which is good. There were spells in, in there, were, there were spells where I was a little bit bored, and it, it was a little bit. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but like it was, it was pretty good, and it hit the right notes for what we needed for, for this. And uh, there was big chair moments, there was big yeah. hey moments. Yeah, and that's yeah. what you want. I mean, when you got when you've got this, when you can sort of compare, compare this to sort of Frozen, you know, I haven't seen Frozen yet. No, but, not it, at all, no. No, but in my mind, like Frozen's a proper movie where this. Yeah. Is, this is there for the for the kills yeah, yeah, and for the laughs. It's, well, it's a proper B movie instead of, of, instead of a proper movie. Like he's just said though, it's like the reason that he made this film is for everybody who's in the audience right there. And he's he, I, I believe Adam Green, like he's he, when he's when he when he speaks to the crowd and he says, I made this film for you people right here, right now. They absolutely, I absolutely believe it, because it, that, it's, it's the most genuine person. It's gotta be person. worth saying as well, in the thanks, he actually specifically mentioned Fright Fest UK absolutely. in the thanks. Absolutely. So I mean, well, I mean so like, yeah. Like I've, like I've said before, like Adam Green and Joe Lynch are like totally the fucking totem for this festival, and that's what makes this such an awesome thing. The premiere of Hatchet 2 at Fright First on the opening night, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And everybody in that theatre had a great fucking time. Well, I can't speak for everybody clearly, but like there was a lot of cheering. There was a lot of, cheering. A was a lot of cheering, and it was a good fucking movie to, for people to have a great time with. If I'd have watched Hatchet 2 on at, at home on my own outside of this arena. I wouldn't have had as good a time with it, but there were some good kills in it, there were some good roaring moments where we had a good laugh and stuff like that, so it did what it was supposed to do, it, it, it entertained the Fright Fest audience and that's exactly what it was for. I thought, I thought the cast were actually alright in it as well. Yeah. I mean, Tony Todd. Yeah. Tony Todd rocks that yeah. shit. He's pretty much the second lead yeah, in the film he and he, he absolutely yeah. kills yeah, and, and, it. And he was brilliant. And, I mean, the lead, the lead character, Danielle, I forgot to forgot the second name. I thought she, she did a great, like, a cheesy job with it. And yeah, I mean, I really, really sort of enjoyed it. I will watch Hatchet 1 now, but I don't know if you're going to have such a, good, a good time with it. So. No, no, it's not. But I will yeah. watch it just because I've Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And what I actually quite liked about it as well is he, he, he spoke about it before the film. He was like, I brought this film to Fry Fest and it was a film, now it's a franchise. And there's definitely that mythology building, franchise building with this film. He, I mean, he says he's not directing it. There's definitely going to be a Hatchet 3. Yeah. I can tell Even though he says he's not going to direct it. Yeah, he's not going to direct moment, it. But. but there is going to be a Hatchet 3. Yeah. And I think this, is, this could be the next sort of Friday 13. Maybe not have such a that sort of plateau of sort of like being that, that, that famous, but you have a, you have a sort of a killer there. You have that an iconic little sort of character. But yeah, definitely, definitely. If Hatchet, if Hatchet 3, uh, if Hatchet 3 comes out on DVD. Probably won't watch it. If Hatchet 3 comes out and it's opening at Fright Fest, I'll watch it and I'll have a great time with it. I'll have a fucking yeah. drink and I'll have a, I'll have a good laugh with it. So yeah. that was a good laugh, and that's, that's that was what it was supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't looking forward to. I wasn't really looking forward to Hatchet 2 at all. I thought if I was going to watch it anywhere, it should be here with like over a thousand other horror fans, you know. But I've got to say, I thought the kills were incredibly inventive. Um, 
like there, there were some real moments of just fantastic gore. And I mean, like, I, I don't really want to spoil too much of it because that's part of the delight of this. Because it is fair. I mean, um, Ben from Monday Movie was just chatting to us and he said that um, uh, it is. Is it Ben? Yeah. Yeah, it was Ben. Was it? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just saying that. Um, yes, it was. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, and he was saying that um, it's kind of like kills a bit of meh in between. And, and Noel was just saying that you know there, there are parts that are slow. And I mean, after the first ten minutes, it does slow down for like a good 20, 25 minutes where there are no kills. And you know there is some kind of funny stuff there. But then once you do get to the kills again, brilliant. I've got to say, I've never ever seen a decapitated head finish off an orgasm. Yeah. Uh, or a decapitated body, sorry. Yeah. You uh, clearly don't have the sex life that I have. <laughs> I don't want to know. But, um, yeah, I mean, in all, I think you guys hit it on the head, really. I mean, I would never watch Hatchet again. I'd probably quite happily watch Hatchet 2 again. And for me, that's a real win. So, there you go. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, that is it. So uh, the next film is what? Primal. It's primal. primal. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to Primal quite a lot. So. Nice. So we'll be back in a bit. Bye.